Peace and high frequencies, everybody. Um, you know, I, you know, I got some things to talk about today because um, one of those things is um, I'm gonna go over the Egyptian. You know, you know, I tell you all that it has come to me several times in my dreams where I'm in ancient Egypt. You know, of course, in this reality, I live in Memphis. Uh, <laughs> Memphis it was also, you know, in ancient Egypt. Menefer. Um, also, in my dreams, I have been going to various cultures, trying to retrieve information. Um, I've done it with the Arabic nation. I've done it with the Hispanics. Um, I've also had a dream where I saw that um, this white man was allowing me to take the books, these history books, and rewrite history. Um, and he was just telling me to put down whatever I thought was right. I think I had that dream probably a couple of years ago before I even started this channel. But I'm putting all the pieces together. I was scrolling through YouTube like I like to do. I don't watch TV. I like watching documentaries or, you know, just information. I just like to get information. And so, um, Ray Hagen, I, I stopped on him, hadn't listened to him in a, in a while. Um, if you don't know, if you're not familiar with Ray Hagen, uh, please look him up um, so you can get more information on who he is and the research and the uh, information he's put out for our people to get us out of the spell so we can know who we actually are. So I was coming across that and I was listening to him talk about how the fall of our culture in ancient Egypt occurred um, through the selling out, okay? <laughs> we always have sellouts. If you follow me on the Black Fit Witch uh, Instagram, you saw that I posted some clips from that very exact video that he was talking about. Um, and it started as I was listening to him and put pieces together in my mind of what has been actually going on in the dream space. Remember, I was trying to infiltrate as a blue being to get information from the Arabics. Um, I was in the um, Vatican actually trying to go down and retrieve some information out of the Vatican, but there were gatekeepers um, in the astral plane. You remember, on, I think a few weeks ago, I went up this gold ladder and I ended up trying to get retrieve information from this Hispanic man and he got upset that I was trying to take the information. I wasn't, you know, Hispanic. So he ended up trying to fight me and knock me out of whatever realm I was in from retrieving this information. Um, I have these dreams where I'm trying to go back and retrieve the information. So when I was listening to him, I was like, damn, I'm trying to retrieve the information and go back to these people who actually stole it from, or I wouldn't even say stole it because if it was given like, uh, Ray Hagen was talking about, we had sellouts. These people actually allowed him into allow these Europeans to come into our ancient sacred spiritual system. And once they got initiated through a ritual, they pretty much not by blood, but by ritual became these fake pharaohs or these fake ass gods, which started to spiral the spiral of pretty much taking over our culture and who we were. That, that started, that got the ball rolling, okay? So in my dream space, because I know I'm a, I'm a reincarnated being from ancient Kemet, um, I'm going through these bloodlines trying to retrieve the information that was actually taken and stored away from us. But the information already resides within me. <laughs> Which is very interesting why in the dream space, I am going to these bloodlines, let, I guess to, to let them know, I don't even know if, if it's to let them know who I am or to just retrieve or change something in another time and space. I'm not quite sure, but as I listened to him yesterday, it all made sense. Remember the other week I was telling you all about we have to atone for what our ancestors did and everything that everybody did wasn't of a uh, less melanated complexion.
some of these people and what they did look just like you and I. They look, they melanated people who uh, changed our our way of life by selling out for whatever reason it, it need be. But if they had stayed with the actual doctrine and stayed with uh, not allowing anybody into the sacred spiritual systems that we had in place, who knows what may have happened? Who knows if, you know, we probably would not ever be in this mess we are now. Maybe we would. It may start a different route. Who knows? Because everything is for a reason. Right? And I always say, I know that I don't know. Because everything is for a reason. So I don't really even know if this still would have happened just through another route. But I think it's very interesting that my spirit in the astral plane is leading me back around. To these various bloodlines that that uh, have this ancient uh, text and this ancient information, um, and I, I I will say this: whoever has uh, knowledge of of now, this is what I do want to do. I do want to read up on that history. Uh, from a Kometian perspective, I don't want any European thought process books on um, the ancient Kemet scrolls that were taken from the Nefer. But I do want um, that information from a Kometian perspective. Um, so if anybody knows of any books that or, or book um, that's available that I can read <coughs> that I haven't already read, in regards to that, please let me know. I'm really looking to see um, what information is out there. And I guess I can go on Google and do some research on my own. And I'm going to leave it at that. So if you do, just drop it in the comments. Um, moving on. We have to take care of our elders that are here. We have to make sure that our elders are taken care of and we just listen to them sometimes the only thing they want is just some time so they can communicate with you and let you know that they're okay they're not like this new generation um i would even say gen x all the way up to you know the new what's that gen z they're not like us they like the baby boomers they enjoy sitting around talking i just got finished talking to an 85 year old um i just got finished talking to a 95 year old because every tuesday and thursday i teach tai chi um at a community center and they need that energy too we can't just blindly just get caught up in our day-to-day -day without setting out space for our elders, y'all. We have to set out space for our elders. Um, so, with that being, my heart was really there, and it was funny that I was talking to one of the elders, and I was asking her about the medication she was taking. She has um, had one kidney removed and one breast removed. Um, about 11 years ago and you know she went to the doctor check I was asking about it and she was like oh my, my mind just jumped time <laughs> while we was talking she said that and it was just amazing that she you know people say things but it's actually talking to my spirit because it's their soul essence remember I told you all that we talk soul to soul if you are connected with your essence you can talk and the other soul essence will talk to you so that soul essence was telling me she said oh i can't remember my mind just jumped time and we are time jumping y'all we have definitely jumped time we are going into various timelines we are creating our worlds you know i keep on saying this and it is that's what's going on um Yesterday, I started to have the sniffles and sneezing. You probably can still hear it in my voice. The congestion, the time of the year and the seasons is changing. Um, we don't want to say that we're sick. We don't say that, you know, I don't feel good. Just say, you know, I'm getting to a place of feeling better. And my body is flushing and cleansing out toxins, which is what it's doing. Because we're going in between seasons, right? So we go from summer 
um, to fall. Right, so we we just crossed into fall um, from the summer season. It's been hot, 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 hot. Now it drops down to 32 degrees. Okay, and then it'll probably get colder as we go into the winter solstice. So know that when you do get the sniffles or you know get a little congestion, runny nose, it doesn't last long. Like for me, it's a 24-hour deal. It's gone in 24 hours. My body has just has to get adjusted to the climate. Once it gets adjusted to this different climate, um, because everything, the cells have to be rejuvenated, all of that, you, you have to expel out toxins, um, all of that that's possibly been housed in your system, letting it all go. And the best time, the best thing to do is to go on a cleanse, um, just do ginger tea. I always say that ginger is like my go-to for everything. Ginger, lemon, cayenne, and honey, right? That's <laughs> my ocean brew. Um, you do that and get your body back into balance. Uh, get your body back into um, being able to go through this climate as it changes. All right, so yeah, that's why I want to talk about. So anybody know any books in regards to how, or w w I would say the fall of ancient Kemet. The fall of ancient Kemet. Um, the fall of ancient Kemet from a Kemetian perspective. Please drop it and uh, messages here in the comment section and as always i leave you in peace and high frequencies <laughs>